Hey there everyone, I'm Moshang of Groovisizer and I would like to introduce you to a brand new instrument. It's Theramon. Groovisizer. Theramon. Theramon is related to a, a theremin, unlike a, a traditional theremin that has two antennae sticking out. This guy does not, and what it has instead are these two time of flight sensors that send out beams of laser light that bounce off obstacles, in this case your hands, and then the time that it takes for that light to travel to your hand and back is measured, and that's how we know exactly how far your hands are from the instrument. Uh, and in this case we are using two of them, one to control pitch and the other to control volume and together they sound like this. So uh, let's quickly talk about what we have here. We have a row of six buttons. Uh, the first two on the left control your mode that you are currently in. Uh, these two control the parameter and these uh, control the the actual uh, parameter value or if you prefer and it's quicker then you can use a potentiometer for the for the value of the parameter that you currently have selected this potentiometer does volume if you hold in f1 and use this potentiometer that is your reverb is your reverb Okay, so let's quickly have a look at what we have here in play mode. We have uh, your different voices, starting with uh, actually a sign, but we're on variable triangle now, so I'll just cycle through. This is your sign. Saw. This is the square. Triangle. This is a user-defined wave. Pulse, reversal, sound pan hole, which is a, a, like a noise, and back to the variable triangle. Uh, second parameter is your root note, so you can adjust the root note. And finally, your in play mode, your scale. Um, let me quickly run through the different scales. I'm not going to call them out as I go through, but just so that you can hear them, starting with a major. Those are your different scales and then we also have a theremin a mode that we call a free pitch mode and that sounds like this. And that was nastily out of tune but that's why we have these two LEDs and um, you can set different modes for the LEDs but right now Both LEDs light up when uh, when you are close to or on a semitone pitch. Um, 
Oh, what I forgot to mention also is that in any of your scales you can do momentary pitch bend. So it's a nice in-between between having the completely free pitch mode, which is kind of hard to uh, play in tune. Well, that's the nature of the beast. Um, and having it uh, completely in the scale like this, or in the major, or in any of the scales. If you hold down F1, you can do the momentary pitch bend. Band range you can uh, you can set as well. That's our play mode. Uh, second, we have the song mode, and in song mode uh, you can take any of your setups that you have here in play mode and save it as a preset, uh, like so, to uh, one of twenty uh, or ten parts in twenty songs. So you have uh, two hundred preset locations, and they divide it into the songs and parts. Uh, and the idea is that if you are in a band situation or you have a live set. Um, you can have a part set up for all the different parts of the song that you are playing. And so you can set uh, all of these parameters, the voice, the uh, root note and the scale that you're in, along with your volume setting as well as the reverb setting per patch or per part. Okay, and that was song mode. Um, it bears mentioning that uh, that you can change these songs and parts uh, via MIDI. So that's very handy if you are, for example, doing an Ableton Live set, you could literally have Theremon um, be in the right key uh, uh, at any time by just sending it, uh, you know, information. You can either uh, change through, uh, you know, the songs and parts that you have saved, or you can just uh, directly tell it be in this scale and and this key. Um, that's it, except for the setup mode. And let me quickly tell you what you can do here. In setup mode, you can select whether your uh, pitch uh, time of flight sensor is the one on the right or on the left. You can swap them around. Um, P max, you can set the. Oops, P max, you can set the the distance, the maximum distance above the instrument. So right now it's set to 400 millimeter. It's about 40 centimeters. I'm not sure inches and feet. I'm not sure how much that is, but um, you can set that from five centimeters to 50, so half a meter. Uh, uh, volume max, the same thing. I, the way I have it set up is that my volume is half the distance of the pitch. I just find uh, it, it was easier to play that way. Um, and that's the default, but um, like I say, you can change that. Oh, uh, back in, sorry, in setup mode. Um, steps, you can select how many, uh, you know, this this range that you have set, you can decide how many increments there are in that for, uh, if you're in one of the scales. So do you want this to be divided into uh, 12 steps or four steps only, or that's up to you to decide. You have your MIDI channels that uh, the pitch time of flight sensor is sending information on. If you're in one of the scales, it will send a note on and off message. Um, and if you're in the free pitch mode, it will send uh, an actual CC value uh, from 0 to 127 uh, on a CC channel of your choice. Same thing with the uh, volume. You can set the MIDI channel that it transmits on, and you can send, uh, set the CC that it sends out. I showed you the LEDs before. Um, uh, uh, it was set to tuning to show you when you are in tune. Um, you can also set it to MIDI, in which case it will uh, uh, alert you to the current MIDI message that's going out. So in this case, the brighter the LED shines, the, the higher the CC value that's being sent. And since I'm in a scale, it will blink on every time that a note on is sent. We have a uh, pitch bend. Uh, I showed you pitch bend before. If you are in uh, in uh, the the play mode, um, and you can select the bend range. So right now that my bend range is set to just a semitone. Um, and keep in, bear in mind that this is only for the internal synth. Um, if you want to set the bend range, uh, if you are uh, sending MIDI from here, you will have to set it on on the instrument that you are sending to or the MIDI module that you are that you are driving from Theremon. Here's a mute uh, as well in case you want to uh, mute the whole instrument and just uh, you know use it as a 
as a, a MIDI controller only and you don't care about in built-in sounds you can just mute all of the audio section and that's it those are all the features of the Theramon let me quickly maybe show you the hardware as well I'm going to unplug this for a second so the six switches we have the two potentiometers with time of flight sensors the OLED uh, first time on a Groover Sizer instrument we have a built-in little 8 ohm speaker which is really handy because you can just plug it in and go you don't have to uh, you know find headphones or plug it into uh, uh, a speaker or anything you can just use the the little built-in speaker it's not very loud but it's definitely loud enough for you if you're sitting in front of it to to hear it um, around the side we have uh, over here we have a MIDI uh, DIN and this is for uh, MIDI out only if you want to drive an instrument um, you can use this MIDI output and the other way that you can drive an instrument over MIDI is over this uh, MIDI over USB um, probably best to communicate with a computer with this um, and one of the upshots of for the first time for us at Groover Sizer using a Teensy instead of uh, a traditional Arduino um, and it's great uh, here's a little uh, DAC audio daughter board that we are using for audio instead of the built-in DAC pin we've tried that before and uh, this gave us much better audio quality and for that reason uh, you have the little 8-inch uh, uh, audio jack output. That's actually a line-up, but it works perfectly fine for for headphones as well. And then, oh, the other thing, the last thing that bears mentioning is that uh, your time of flight sensors are mounted on a uh, or are attached to a ribbon ribbon cable, so that you can, if you like, attach it to the side here and play the instrument like so instead. And that. Is it the Groovesizer Theramon? It's available on our Groovesizer website uh, right now, groovesizer.com. It's in the store. Uh, uh, it's a kit that you can build, or if you want, we can build it for you. Uh, the complete kit with all the parts and teensy and everything that you need, including the case, is 125 USD, and that's uh, shipping included from Taiwan. Thank you guys very, very much, and I hope you enjoy Theramon.